Moctezuma Esparza is a determined man. He was integral during the East LA walkouts of the 1960s. He has provided venues for the Latino community to view relevant movies as well as produced films with themes that resonate within our community and the mainstream audience. My father is, and mother are from a little village in Los Altos de Jalisco, Vidalgo. And my dad came to the United States uh, during the Mexican Revolution, 1918. As I was growing up, he shared with me the history of Mexico, uh, the history of the conquest, the history of the relationships with the United States. And he worked 12 hours a day, six days a week. And so the only time we saw each other was really Monday after school and part of Saturday and Sunday when uh, we were both awake. What we would do is we'd go to the movies together. And that's where I came to love movies. Walk up and down Broadway and go to the Million Dollar and see Variedad. And maybe walk down to the State Theater or the Orpheum or the Los Angeles and, and uh, then walk uh, down over to the California Theater, which was on Main Street, or maybe to the Mayan Theater, which was way down on 11th. That world of both movies from Mexico and movies from Hollywood was how I came to bond with my father and spend so much time with him and to talk about those movies, particularly the Mexican movies. So I grew up with an image of Mexico that, of course, did not exist anymore. Heroic uh, Mexico. I'm a local Angelino, born and raised here in Los Angeles went to uh, local public schools, and then went to Lincoln High School, and uh, then from there to UCLA. When the Chicano movement uh, burst, and I was there at the very beginning, and got deeply involved in that civil rights struggle for education, because that's what it was about. And there was a black professor, Eliseo Taylor, who told me, you don't get it, you're a producer, you get people to do things, and uh, that's what you have as an opportunity here. And my love of theaters took me to exhibition. And so I also knew that that's where wealth got created and where the foundations of distribution are. So I created Maya Cinemas. And what goes with that is an appreciation of art and culture. And the audience has to be given the opportunity to grow to love it. And we need to create that for our community. Nalip was an effort to create a professional group within the industry that would be able to work its way up into having the authority and power to create content. The word Latino is in there because I was looking for something that would unify us, all of us in this country, no matter what country of origin our ancestors might have come from. Because once we're here, the commonality of being Americans and of growing up, living in this country, is what unifies our experience.